welcome back, folks, to Let's Play oh, Command and Conquer, yeah. the yes, Nod sir. Campaign. And when last we left off, we were trying to make sure that as yeah, many of I'm these units survive yeah. as possible. Yeah, the main yeah, reason being is that if we don't have them yes, survive for as long as possible, yes, we're going no to problem. lose a lot more than just a few of these um, yes, rocket troopers. The rocket troopers are pretty Morning. much essential yes, to our I'm survival out. here, Morning. because the Moving rocket out. troopers are going to be dealing with yes, all sir. of the major yes, threats sir. up to Ready the uh, base away. that we away, need sir. to recapture. Unlike the previous base that yeah. uh, had I'm nothing it. guarding it whatsoever, Ready this away. base has a lot right. more in our way. Reporting. The main thing being a few Go of on. the um, guard towers that have been placed to uh, inhibit yes, our I'm access. The guard towers are the Yo, main problem, because the guard towers are what are going to alert yes, all of it. the GDI on this map to our presence. You'll notice that there are a few saves here already, that's because I've done a few attempts to try and do this yes, mission, sir, and they it. haven't been very successful. The main yeah, thing you I'm do have it. to watch out for, even yes, more than the, um, yes, the guard it. towers, are the harvesters. If you so much as shoot one of the harvesters, Yo, you, you can pretty no much problem. say goodbye to your I'm attempts at uh, succeeding here, right away, right because away. the harvesters will Morning. then try and run over your units, and then they will try mm -hmm. and um, absolutely it. obliterate everything else with every yeah. other yeah. unit that they have access to, Morning. and they have access to a lot of units. The main yeah. thing we want to do right yeah. now yeah. is we right want away. to make sure that uh, none of these rocket yeah. troopers here attack that harvester. That is a very important thing to uh, manage to achieve. Now that we've done that, we're going to save, because uh, we yes, need this yes, commando to draw no attention problem. to this large Ready, amount of defensive structures. There we go. Now we are on a time limit. We're on a time limit because now that we've done that, the GDI know that we're trying to go into here and uh, obliterate everything. And we need to now be very, very careful of the fact that, yep, we are too late already because uh, that's going to happen now. As you can see, uh, all of the units we have here are going to be killed by those grenadiers and we're pretty much going to lose. There we go, we need to be a little bit faster. And by a little bit faster, I mean much faster. These units are going to have to go over here and shoot there. Now we're doing it much quicker. And else doing it quicker is actually really, really important. Because the quicker we do this, the more likely we are not to die absolutely horribly. Here is the uh, second of these towers. We need to deal with that one as fast as we dealt with the first one. Because uh, here comes a lot of units to try and kill us. There we go. We're now going to slow down the speed a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Because uh, these units that are coming here need to die right now. There we go. You will die first, and then you will die next, and then we need to get rid of all of these um, infantry units that are on their way. So long, minigunners! I'm going to send one of these units as a distraction, and then we're going to uh, try our best to make sure that this survives as much as possible. And now we're going to move all of these units in. The faster we move the units in, the more likely we are not to die absolutely horribly. As you can see, we yes, don't have I'm that much of a base whatsoever. There are a few things that we want right now, though. We don't want to build a power plant. We want to save as much money as we possibly can. The first thing we want to do is we actually want to capture this um, communications tower here, and we want to capture this power plant here. We can now build an obelisk of light. This is very, very important, because here comes a lot of units. A lot of units and the harvester. The harvester is actually very, very important. We're going to build this here and then we're going to build a single turret. This turret is very, very important. Also, we want to move the uh, artillery up here now. The artillery are certainly going to help us in distracting some of the large swathe of units that are coming this way. The rocket troopers are going to provide somewhat of a distraction in that they're going to uh, prevent a lot of um, harm from the various tanks that are on their way. The very fact that we are here right now means that we stand a chance of succeeding here. There we go, and now we have access to this, which is very, very important indeed. We want to build some, uh, we want to send as well, a single infantry unit up here now. There we go, the artillery is now going to start firing and providing a substantial distraction. This distraction is certainly going to help because we need to make sure that uh, we 
get rid of as much of the enemy as possible here, on the way to building an obelisk of light. The obelisk of light is certainly going to help us, but the, uh, the artillery only has so much use, because when that tank gets in range to uh, destroy it, we're going to be in some serious, serious trouble. And that is as uh, long as uh, it takes, because we're going to uh, delay it as long as possible. The next thing we're going to do is build a couple of... Um, we're going to build a couple of the um, power plants here. We need a few to power the uh, obelisk. Also, it would seem Building. like the tank is not going to move, which is actually really, really yeah. beneficial to us. Yeah. We'd rather not have an infantry unit up complete. there, because the infantry unit is going to uh, eventually Building. die to um, the Tiberium. Construction Carefully, complete. we're going to uh, build an obelisk right here. I think, however, we're going to be okay, because we've got past the very, very dangerous point. As in, we've got past the uh, initial attack. There is going to be another attack pretty soon, and we're going to need to be ready for it, but for now, I think we're going to be alright. A lot of things are going to happen pretty soon. Um, enemies are going to start trying to attack this communication center, or this minigunner here. But now that we have the obelisk here, we really don't need to worry about a lot of things. The obelisk is going to ensure that uh, we don't have any problems. Also, we probably want to move that Building. communications um, center. It is um, not really economical to get rid of it at this point, but it certainly will save us a lot of trouble later. And we have lost access to the radar, but that's not bad. There is a large field of Tiberium over here, and we need to make sure that we, uh, that we get it as soon as possible. And there we go. Now we have radar facilities back. The next thing we want to build is, I think, another turret. Building. Another turret over here is probably going to do us a complete. lot of um, favors. And that will basically mean complete. that uh, no enemies could get into our base without uh, causing uh, at least a little bit of yeah, um, trouble guy. with the turrets. The Obelisk of Light is positioned in such a way... Ah, they are now going to uh, defeat the uh, minigunner up there. The minigunner up there most certainly provided a very, very big distraction, though. Now that we have a lot of uh, the power plants, we're going to start building an airstrip. Building. The airstrip is going to help us in the... Aha! Ready, and go. now you are shooting this unit here. You we need it. you to be there right now. But the longer we can last without having to uh, put anything else there, apart from a uh, minigunner or two, is going to be a good thing indeed. The AI in this mission I'm not sure is particularly good. It, well, if you can call it AI. it's uh, I've been told it's not strictly AI compared to uh, many other things, but uh, I Unit think the... Oh, and that enemy is... Oh, dear. That is really bad. That's really bad because we have now lost access to the... Um, we've lost access to the Obelisk of Light, which is really, really bad. That was some very bad timing on the airstrike. Fortunately, I don't think they're going to attack the obelisk right now. No, if it's not active, they're not going to attack it. And fortunately, the turrets still work, which is really good. It's really good. Okay, they're still going to fire. And so we'll then use these rocket troopers to uh, distract, and there we go. Excellent. And now I think we uh, need to delay building the um, airstrip here. There we go. We need to build another power plant. Definitely. And now, with the power plant rebuilt, Construction over here, we will have, once again, the obelisk active. And we will continue building the, um, the airstrip. And we need to repair a few things, because uh, we don't want to lose all of these. The good news about um, the um, research facility here is we don't need to get it until later on. Also, let's see how powerful that obelisk is, shall we? Yep, that's how powerful it is, exceptionally. And we pretty much mopped that up. Also, there was a tank there. Keyword was a tank there. The Obelisk of Light is indeed a nasty, nasty thing indeed. We could start, um, after the airstrip, building a second um, refinery, which actually would be a really good idea. The sooner we can get that going, the better. Ah, you're now trying to shoot there. That's uh, not good. We'd rather you didn't. There we go. If we 
put you there, you will eventually just die, which is not good. But we'll have to see what we can do. At the moment, our northernmost unit is that minigunner, although I think uh, some of the damage will hit our construction yard, construction which is quite bad. And there we go, we now have access to uh, an airstrip. And with that, we're going to want to build a buggy as soon as possible, because the buggy will not be affected by the Tiberium. And we don't want to keep losing units to that Tiberium. In fact, we could have you harvest that instead, and use that to get a quick boost to our income, enough that we could build a buggy to just um, take some of the uh, damage from the airstrike. It's not a lot of Tiberium, it's really not, but it should do just well enough to uh, secure our income. There we go, and now I want you to go and cash that in as quickly as you possibly can, and then you'll move on to uh, deal with the other things. Right now, I think we have a pretty well defended base. There we go, just enough money. Excellent. And now you're going to go over there and deal with uh, that Tiberium in that direction. There we go, it's a little bit more expensive than using a, um, using a minigunner, but at least it's more likely to survive. The main problem with this base is that it takes an awful lot to, um, a long journey to the Tiberium. Which is why the next thing we're going to build is a second uh, refinery. Building. We'll get that building right now, in fact. It'll take a lot of journeys to get there. We could start attacking that. It's really not a good idea right now. Because we will attract a lot of attention we really can't afford to uh, deal with. Right now, we want to build up our defenses a little more. Just uh, not get another obelisk, because the obelisks are far too expensive as it is. Also, the uh, focus of the tank appears to have changed. Come on! I've no idea what to. Yes, also, sir. don't blow that up. That's not a good oh, idea whatsoever. Me. But also, don't capture it until the very end. And that tank has no idea what it's doing. We don't want to deal with this uh, gunship until we uh, have got... Ah, there we go! Excellent. Served its purpose well. We want to actually build another one of those right now before we uh, continue building a refinery. We're at a pretty good point here though. It's uh, a nice middle ground where we are earning money, we're not really suffering any attacks, and it's uh, pretty much okay. We actually want to send a uh, unit out to go and explore the rest of the map and find where the uh, GDI base is. I think the GDI base is up in this corner, but it's not going to be here, and uh, it's unlikely to be uh, over here where the Tiberium is, or so close to it anyway. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Go, Minigunner! Go and explore! Admittedly, admittedly rather, uh, admittedly... Wow, that word uh, took a little bit... Um, and apologies for the minor interruption there. We are back. Let's move on. We're going to go up here and see if we can uh, find where the base is. I think the base is up here. There's also a few things guarding it, like a large unit of grenadiers and minigunners that are on their way. Oh, here comes an attack. Here comes an attack. I'm pretty sure we can deal with it, however. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can deal with it, because... Uh, you don't stand a single chance. Those are poor infantry units, eh? Yep, they're not getting anywhere at all. I mean, that one might get somewhere, but uh, then this will happen. So, no. Here comes one tank. That tank is in some serious, serious trouble. Serious trouble. Yep, two shots from the obelisk will deal with that... Uh, deal with that tank. I think Mammoth Tanks take four hits, though. The main reason Mammoth Tanks take four is that they can actually repair by themselves up to uh, half of their health, which is actually quite ridiculous. It is one of the most powerful vehicles in the game. I mean, the Stealth Tank can, um, can do other things. We do want to capture this at some point, though. It will allow us to build a few more units. The uh, stealth tanks are really good at um, dealing with harvesters, as they can then turn invisible and pretty much can't be targeted. At some point, though, we're going to want to uh, find that base entrance. Where is that base entrance? Probably around here somewhere. Let's find out. Yes? Ah, yes indeed. Yep, that's where they are. 
That is a lot of defenses. I see advanced guard towers, guard towers, and oh, we are so close to being able to uh, afford that second refinery. In fact, if we harvest up here, will that be enough money? Because the sooner we can get that going, the better off we'll be. Also, that mammoth tank is going to be a problem. Even though we've dealt with mammoth tanks before, we want to deal with that uh, at some point. I don't even think that's even vaguely enough money. Well, we'll find out. Is it enough? Oh, just short. In fact, if we sell this... Aha! Marvelous. We now have a second refinery and low power. Blast. Well, we can deal with that for now. We just need to uh, get enough money to build another power plant. Building. Eventually, we'll get access to the advanced um, power plants, and they're really good. Also, you're really, really terrible at... Um, they're just standing there going, um, do you think that uh, buggy's gonna move anytime soon? When it does, we'll shoot, and then it won't stand a chance. But it's more likely that uh, we'll never actually move that buggy. But when that buggy gets um, hit with an airstrike, these, um, this tank and that infantry unit will probably move. Probably. Maybe. But I think we're in a pretty comfortable position here. We could send another uh, minigunner out to go and... Ah, there we go. There is the airstrike. And now, they have no target whatsoever. And we have another power plant. Yo, excellent. You got it. Everything is now up and running, Building. and we have another nod buggy Ready, being built. We should actually start thinking about building a, a unit to harass the um, harvester with, and that will pretty much be two um, two buggies, or not buggies, rather the uh, the recon bikes. We could actually just send one out and see how that does. After all, we are getting a good supply of money in. Okay, there you are. Have yes, you sir. go! Go and... Oh, hello, there's a tank trying to come and get us. It's probably a bad idea to send out the buggy or the uh, bike just yet. We'll just wait for this to happen. Zap and zap. And thus, the power of Pew Pew's triumphs once again. The obelisk of light strikes back. There we go. We'll just uh, harass this vehicle here. I have no idea what it's doing. Normally it just ignores the um, the bike, but it would seem like we have uh, we've attracted a lot of attention doing this, and that is... Uh, why is it following us? Okay, it's following us, which is probably a really good thing, because that means we could very quickly drain them of uh, their money. I mean, very quickly. If we build a second recon bike here, we'll... Uh, yep. I have no idea what their plan is, but I like it. This plan is a pretty good one. The plan being, uh, just exhaust all of your resources so I can just start, uh, starving you of money. Excellent. I think we should start building some tanks now. Definitely start building some tanks. Or we could just build an obelisk up here, that could work. Also, let's, uh, switch away from this music. I think there's a better tune, just a little bit up here. There we go. For now, we are in a position where everything is going much Building. better. I think it's finally time to uh, start having this... Ch oh, there's a mammoth tank on the way. That's really bad. You see those rockets? Those rockets are nasty. Those n rockets are very, very nasty. But that's okay because uh, four shots from the uh, obelisk of light and this thing will be gone. One, two, three, and four. And that is a lot of money down the drain. They uh, deal a little less well with inventory. In fact, um, they're not very good in multiplayer because uh, you could just swarm an obelisk with inventory and it'll do very well indeed at um, dealing with it because they only attack one target at a time. That, however, is where the uh, commando comes in handy. On this mission, anyway. Just to deal with those few inventory troopers that manage to get through. There is another attack coming, I can see, which... Uh, I'd like to deal with. Although I'm getting a little concerned that we might have already starved Building. them of all of their uh, money because uh, I don't see another harvester. I don't see one at all. Ah, there it is. There's another harvester. Hello, I'd like to uh, pester you. Consider yourself pestered. 
Yeah, for some reason it just wants to stay here and yes, spin sir. around for some reason. Yes, sir. Well, it works, I suppose. We'll just soften yes, it up sir. so that we can... Uh, we should build a repair facility yes, soon. In fact, this thing is yes, pretty much gone. And now let's move away. Excellent! We have escaped! Quite deftly, too. Where would we even put a repair facility? We could put it up here, that might help. There we go. Ah, excellent. They're certainly trying to deal with us. It's not doing very well. At all. Just, uh, smashing open a little bit of room here to deal with, uh, whatever comes our way, which is the repair facility soon. This is a pretty well-built base, and, uh, pretty easy to defend. There is another harvester. Well, we'll deal with that the same way that we are. Ha! Here comes the, uh, inevitable attack. Goodbye, buggy. You did well. What we need to do is just distract this while we can. There we go. For some reason, on this map, the, uh, when we attack the harvesters, they just like to try and ram into the bikes. That's really not going to do you any favors, because, uh, we're just then going to, uh, run away here and you're going to follow us. I have no idea why you're going to follow us, but, uh, works really well for me that you're going to. And there we go, one repair facility. And this obelisk will just start dealing with everything that comes our way, including the harvester. I have no idea why the harvester is coming after us. It really helps, though. Makes it a lot easier to deal with all this. Excellent. I think we're Building. pretty confidently going to win soon. Unit reporting. Soon, but not just yet. And it was indeed a very shaky start at the beginning. But I'll catch you next time, folks. For when we come back, we'll deal with uh, what's to come in the future. And by that, I mean we need to get ready for the inevitable attack. Right after we uh, attack this again. I wonder how many of these they can uh, keep building. Ah, here comes the uh, the troops to try and stop us. And away! The recon bikes definitely run. You flee back to our base. And the harvester gives chase. I mean, why they didn't arm it with a weapon of any variety. By the way, the obelisk of Pew Pew is here! I like that. That's a really good thing. Yes, One sir. grenadier managed to get through. Not anymore. I'm on it. And when we come back, folks, I think they're sending more troops. But they're going to run out of those eventually. I think we also need to build a uh, few silos. But I'll catch you next time, folks. Building. And I'll see you then. Construction. Right silo here. One silo there. And a laser gun here. And here. And here. And you're all just going to run into the... Uh, why did you all run into the line of fire of that harvester? Ah, well, one of them managed to get through. And now he's dead. So I'll catch you next time, folks. Oh, wait, there's another one. We weren't able to stop it, though, unfortunately, which means that they will uh, manage to get all of their money back, unless I run into here and sacrifice myself. Oh, that was a terrible idea. That was not a good idea. Building. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Construction complete.